do. Well, we have soldiers coming back that have lost limbs, have lost the ability to go ahead and, 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 and move around as they normally did. Now, to me, the, the least that the federal government could do would be to give these um, uh, returning heroes, and they really are heroes for what they've gone through, the ability to get some sort of normal life back. My, my opinion is that there should be absolutely no question. Um, I believe that the politicians in Washington, if they're going to have a vote on it, um, better not vote against it. Because if they do, then I think that we've got to take a look at, last year alone, they had $60 billion worth of earmarks that they had special projects for their own constituents. And that to me is outrageous and it's certainly not going to cost $60 billion to go ahead and outfit this particular system and make it available to all the vets. So I think it's criminal if they don't give it to the vets. It's amazing. It's not just the vets that need the chair. It's just normal people, uh, you know, the nine-year-old kid who's, whose brother plays baseball and he can't or the senior citizen or just anybody. And uh, people can still function and everybody has something in their life that they have to deal with. But unless you're in a position where you need somebody on a daily basis to function normally, then you have no idea of what it feels like. So yes, to give them back their, give them back their a quality of life so that they can come and go and function so that they can feel as though they're a part of society and not a burden on society. You give them, give them, give them this piece of equipment and instead of them having to sit home and collecting disability checks, they can then go out and be productive because they can go ahead and they can go to work. They can do something. So to me, it's, it's a no-brainer. Previously to having access to the system uh, in my business of real estate, I have my assistant who actually goes out and shows my properties for me, uh, but I would need to have someone meet me here at the office so they could meet me by my car and I could come out, get into my wheelchair, and they would then wheel me into the office. At the end of the day, someone would have to take me out to. So I had to make sure that from 9 to 5, I couldn't come in earlier or leave later because no one was going to be around. And there are many times in my business, I've been selling real estate for 35 years in Ocean City, many times in my business, we need to come in early or we need to stay late because the people that we're dealing with, their schedule is different than a normal nine to five day. So it was, it, there was always the pressure of how can I coordinate not being there? So I had to rely on other agents to help me and, and that sort of takes away from the relationship that I'm trying to build with my customers now with the system that I have, I'm in here. I'm in here in the morning. I'm in here when the phones are ringing, I have access to that. I'm also able to um, come in and do a lot of work in the morning. Um, I've been able to stay late at night. I did in fact have a customer that uh, came in at 6.30 at night, actually brought me dinner and we actually ate dinner here and went over a contract. Well, I couldn't have done that before. I remember they were talking about Three or four years ago, there was something on television that said, you wait, a month from now, we're going to have this unbelievable invention, the greatest invention in the history of mankind. I waited, waited, waited. It put on television was a Segway. And I thought, I waited all this time for a Segway? you got to be kidding me. To me, this is, this, this system, this system be able to get in and out, to stow your chair by yourself, to, to, to give your independence back, this to me is the greatest invention.